Happy Friday, my friends. I hope you guys are having a great December. You know, I wanted to take this time to talk to all of you guys that have been asking how this new FCC ruling affects your ability to buy leads. Because a lot of you guys, you know, are just starting to get wind of this new ruling, but you're still wondering how it really affects you. Well, let me explain it to you in the most simplest possible way. Right now, you can buy leads from any marketing company that generates leads. In my case, I'm a final expense insurance guy. So I would be able to buy leads from any company that does that type of marketing. I can buy maybe the overflow of leads that they get from their branded websites, landing pages, Facebook pages, etc. Well, because I sell final expense and the person selling me that lead also sells final expense, well, I could buy that lead and under TCPA guidelines, I would still be able to call them, text them, use artificial intelligence to reach out to them, etc., etc. That happened for years. In the call center space, you'd buy thousands of age leads within 90 days. And we would cold call them, rekindle the interest, and then transfer it over to an agent. But we can do that because... Again, the people were expecting a call for final expense and we're doing that phone call even though we weren't the people that did the advertisement originally. So now moving forward in 2024, anytime you buy a lead, your name has to be on the consent or your company name or your DBA or if you're associated with the company, you can only sell their goods and services that were advertised. But that's just one problem because most marketing companies can't afford to have a thousand clients with each and every single one of them with their own opt-in, etc. It's just way more expensive, making it that much harder for the little guy to buy leads. And that's an issue. Again, if you're in the call center space and before you were depending on buying age leads so that you can call on and cold call, well, that consent doesn't give you permission to call because your name's not on there. And then second, if you do call and any of those numbers is on the do not call registry, now you're in violation regardless if the person called within a few days or within 90 days. So now, if you buy age leads, you're gonna make you're gonna have to make sure that your DNC is 100% accurate. And for years, I've been talking about this. I've been talking about if, you know, we weren't looking at this compliance issue, eventually it was gonna get banned completely to generate leads or worse, regulated at a way that we couldn't access them. And here we are today. Now, doesn't mean that we're not able to get leads for 2024, but it just makes it that much harder. Eric Troutman shared on LinkedIn the other day that within 2022 and 2023, within a one-year span, there was over a 43% increase and TCPA class action lawsuit lawsuits and a big percentage of them were class actions. Think of that. 43% from one year to another. It is crazy. So if you're watching this video, again, when you buy leads, you need to have your name, your company name on the consent or be associated with the company that you work for, but you can only work for them and only provide the service 
and goods that were advertised. If your name's not on there, then good luck. If you're working live transfers and up until now, you know, all the data that the call center was dialing on was opted in will come the first of the year. Now you need to make sure again that each and every single one of those phone numbers you're dialing or you're having somebody dial on your behalf is 100% accurate with the national DNC as well as the 12 to 13 states that have their own state-specific DNC. And again, I've been talking about how, how, how many centers that claim they have their DNC in order don't have accurate systems in place that are up to date with the actual national DNC, not to mention the state specific. And in some of the videos I've posted in the past, I've been able to share side by side comparisons of what I mean that these scrubbing mechanisms are not accurate. I mean, I've done several countless videos over the last few years showing that. So if you're wondering how you're going to generate leads, give me a call. I'll share with you exactly what we're doing to generate leads for us, for our agents. Good quality leads that are consistent and are going to be compliant with the new FCC ruling. Live transfers. We can help you with that too. But again, it requires for you to understand how these new laws affect you, for you to understand TCPA as well as DNC guidelines, because it's that time. Think about it. If you're picking up the phone to either make an appointment, sell, you're considered a telephone person. And these laws are designed to stop the unsolicited phone calls, stop the unwanted text message, etc. This past Medicare season, I must have gotten a hundred unsolicited Medicare calls. And I've been on the national do not call registry since December of last year. Think of that. And I've told these people countless times, please stop calling. So I understand that it's become a problem, but regardless of it, there's still an opportunity to generate quality leads and keep selling final expense or whatever product you sell. This, this new ruling applies to you if you are doing any type of marketing or telephone marketing. It applies to you. So with that said, I hope you guys uh, really take this information to heart. And start figuring out your 2024 because if not, you're going to find yourself with the inability to buy compliant leads. And that could be an issue for you. So you guys have a great weekend and see you at the top. Peace.